Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bring to episode 3 of the final season of Fruits Baskets. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, she ain't doing nothing this time, thank God. Why though? Something uh, did something happened to her. It's no, or is it just is it just Yuki Yuki in general? I got a feeling I'm going to cry today. Oh my god, don't do it. <laughs> no, because you can be short and very handsome and attractive. <laughs> I mean, she ain't wrong. She not wrong. She right. <laughs> But then it's also personalities and what you can bring to the table besides your dick. Yeah. <laughs> she should be here soon. What? I mean, you know, maybe Machi needs to come in so that we can get her side of the story on this. Oh, there she is. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> How can you be so sure about that? You're literally just abandoning your own child. See, this is why sometimes I don't like all anime parents. Not all anime parents are alike. Why would she want to kill him? Mm. Yeah, because Machi just seems so different when she's at school and... Huh? I don't think that's best though, but... <laughs> Poor baby. Where was she? Why though? Hmm. Should we really be doing this? Uh. Oh my god, honey. Really? Well, I know I sure would because mm. But I would rather get your side of the story and why you got upset. Oh, Yeah, she she's really much the black sheep and you feel so bad for her. But that's too much on a child, though. And you're gonna say that right in front of her? Are you fucking kidding me? But 
but she was sitting here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Let me not. 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 Oh. Can I punch this bitch? Are you serious? And they didn't give you no say or anything. Be like, damn, read the room. Read the room. My heart. <laughs> and it's gonna go by fucking quickly. <laughs> I mean, but in a way it was. So No! Uh. Ew. Girl, I don't know, but I thought 
thought she already graduated. What the? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, but you guys just kind of click together.
Girl, no. She around here doing her own business, especially for like Akito's mom. No, I think she'll be back. Um, um, somebody's here with cut. Was that rain? Rain, you cut your hair, best girl? I mean, because it looked more silver. So, no, I don't think that's her. She could have cut, um, Akito's mom's hair or something. I don't know. But, yeah, what, 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 what did you, mm, what just happened right there? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Somebody explain that. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Have we met them? Mm -hmm. If not, we're going to meet them soon. But okay, going into this, this felt like just a really, this is a happy episode, but then a sad episode. This was mainly like a goodbye episode, but not really good mo goodbye, more just like a see you later type episode, but the way it just went and everything. But the Machi situation, oh my God, the Machi situation. I, oh God, Lord, I pray to you right here and now. If, oh God, don't let, let me be sweet to my child. I, I'm sweet to my mom and I'm sweet to my friends and my family, but I don't like it because it's like this with like a lot of families that I've met throughout the years of my life where there are some families that have a lot of power or hold over their child and such. And I get it. It depends on like how someone is taught and raised up and everything. But like in this situation, um, Machi had no say or anything. And it's like, damn, like, seriously, and you kind of, it makes you think about, like, every other person, like, you've met in your life, or if you go over your friend's house, and you see how their family all interacts with, the, with each other and such, and then maybe, like, like let's say, you know, your, pre your best friend, who is either a guy or a girl, gets into an argument with their parents, and then, you know, like, oh, if this was a reverse card, and it was you getting in an argument with your parents, almost like trying to show off in front of your friends even though that really didn't happen in front of Ma uh, Machi but like it, it's so disgusting how her parents are they don't give her no like let her have a say be her own person or anything automatically like she was just saying he looked cold and she was just trying to put the blanket over him but to them it looks like a completely different scene from their POV like oh my god they're about to get she's about to kill this child this like precious child of ours even though she is still their kid as well but it's like we don't care about you and you can tell that they don't care about her you're sitting here having a conversation about her saying all this stuff right in front of her like oh my who does that are you kidding me like who who freaking degrades their child right in front of them and then sometimes you wonder why kids don't have the best relationship with their mother or their father or whoever. And then it's like when we're older, we don't really want to have a relationship with our parents. And then sometimes our parents are the ones who were dumbfounded. Like mine aren't, thank God. But there are some parents who are like, why doesn't my child want to have a relationship with me? And then it could, could, it's just like all the shit that I see on TikTok as well. It's because the way you've treated them in the past is the way they're going to treat you as they're an adult. 
And so if you don't give them any attention when they're older and they're all successful in their life and happy and you're here miserable and such and you're sitting here wondering why the heck I'm not seeing my grandkids or this, this, that, and the third, it makes you sit there. You, like, you need to think about how in the fuck you treated your child going with them growing up in an upbringing and stuff. So if you don't really have the best relationship with your child, you're as a kid, you're not going to have the best relationship with them as an adult. You're trying, in a way, they're trying to control her. And they can't do that. Like, oh my god, yeah, I get it. Like, there are some parents who do want to do that with their kid. But the next thing you know, they, that kid can't be their own person now. They can't make their own decisions now because of that power that the parents have held over them for so many years and sometimes it takes maybe even years for that child to be their own person i mean seriously that all of that about munchie's past was so fucked up i mean oh that hurt i didn't think i was gonna cry over that but like oh god just like mm. And then, of course, her half-brother just comes in and ruins the moment between her and Yuki because they were very close to kissing. And we're like, oh, we're going to get something today. No. <laughs> but really, this was a really sad yet sweet episode. Like, oh, my God. Like, to see, you know, the fact is that everyone's graduating and then now we're in the final year for Toru and gang. And it's just like, oh, my God, like, everything's coming to the form. But, yeah, I hope next week, like, we, we get to see where the fuck Rin is at because, you know, Rin now is doing stuff for, you know, Akito's mom. So I'm wondering what the fuck she has to be currently doing as of right now. It would be nice to see an episode on her. Hell, it would be nice to show my husband no Hasaharu. I mean, you've been showing, like, all my other husbandos. Thank you. Thank you so much. But, yeah, I need to see baby boy Hatsuharu. It's been, like, a really long time since I saw him. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode three of the final season of Fruits Basket. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Monday for episode four. Bye, guys.